Greetings everyone, what is up? It's me again, Tim Prime, one with another video review for you on this video review. In this video review, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Armada Gigacon Class Megatron. And I must say, oh, oh, also, before I forget the mention, along with this little Megatron companion, Lino One, who is a little, maybe a little bit off. So, oh, there we go. That's right, there we go. Just kidding, you know, I will say this, I've been wanting to do a video review on this guy for a while so far. Um, <laughs> from what I mentioned earlier, I seriously could not find him, but I finally, yesterday, this was yesterday, I saw an HP um, printer box downstairs, and I was like, wait a minute, did I look into this one right here? Did I look in that one right there? I'm just thinking like, did I? Did I not? She said it, not me. <laughs> and no, I did not. I took some stuff off of there and I began to like cut the tape open and I looked in there and there was Megatron still linked up with only two of Tidal Wave's components. The third one was separated. So yeah, I managed to find Megatron in a 100% form. And I will say this, I was beginning to look on eBay for just in case if I couldn't find him. I almost, I, I almost let my father alone know he's responsible for losing this thing. Because I was, I was like, well, he packed my stuff, I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I will, I will admit, accidents do happen. They do happen. But with this right here, I'm like, this is hard to find. But yeah, I'm, I'm really glad to have, to have found him right now. I'm, I'm really glad to have found him. And I and I will say this. I would have had a box right here like I did with Optimus Prime. But due to a lot of complications, especially since like I haven't been able to see that one guy that I've been buying my Transformers figures off of. Um, I do not have a box for him to show like I did with Optimus Prime earlier. Well, from a few months, well, from months ago. So okay, let's go and take a quick look at him. And that noise in the background is my little girl. She's playing around with an A and W can. A and W root beer. Great drink. Love it. Not not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. I just I just wanted I just I just wanted to mention it real fast. But yes, um, with Megatron right here, really great vehicle mode. Nice and sounds already. Like anytime you move it. Yeah, like anything you move it like that right there, he begins to like that. That thing goes off right there. He has to go. Yeah, like to a certain point. I can't remember if there's like a trigger under there or something. But yeah, with Megatron's tank mode right here, I will say this: I'm gl I am glad they did this right here. I'm I'm also glad that they read that they um redid the Combiner Wars leader class Megatron into the Armada Megatron. Because because that one looked really awesome, and I was and I did not even I did not remotely think about them making a tidal wave figure to combine with him, because <laughs> like I think that figure was gonna be really hard to grab up. I was lucky enough that I got um, the Gen One version of Megatron in tank mode from Classic Plastic Toys and Collectibles. But yeah, really really nice figure right here. Really amazing figure. I really do like with what they did with him right here. Really amazing job. Really amazing. Really fantastic. But yeah. I do but yeah, I do love all that Hasbro did right here. Oh man, not much to talk about with this, with this figure. Not much to talk about. He does roll on some little wheels. He does roll on some little wheels right here. So there's a little mini con leader one. And I know he's a Gobot name, but I don't care. He is named Leo One in the series. I can't remember what the um what the new repainted version of him is called. I think it's um I think it begins with a C maybe Co Corona. Co Co um, I can't really. Yeah, I can't really. If I do figure out what his name is for his repainted version, I'll try and mention that real fast. Yeah, really nice little mini con right here. Really nice little mini con. And his mini con does have a few things on him. You can power link leader one right here. Yeah, just pa Yeah. And 
and some of you new people that are still figuring out about transforms all you have to do is just power link him right here onto onto the power link port and just rotate him ever so slightly this way and voila take that out right there also in tag mode power link him right here and just move this back. just pull this back and over and you have like an arsenal of weapons right there. He's ready to attack. Completely ready to attack. I think it feels like a switch back here. Oh, and also, here are where the batteries go. I can't remember what kind of batteries he takes, but these batteries have been in here for a long period of time. I have not been able, I have not changed them out like probably ever since I got him off of eBay a while back, like years ago. And there we go. And this does not go all the way up, so you have to push up to click in place. There we go. There we are. Really nice vehicle mode, really nice. Now, I will say this. Um, like with my unboxing video of um, Meg Tyranno, he does come, he kind of comes with his own base mode. We'll try to take a quick look at that real fast. That's not really a base mode. All you have to do is just lift this on up and over. Little Minicons. Um, Port right there that slides up and down. Little things right here for the mini cons to power link onto for Megatron. Bring this on out right here. Open this up right here. The trap for the mini cons, and also back this way a little grabber claw and ramp for the mini cons. So, yeah, that's like kind of like the um, because like. That's kind of like uh, the base mode for him right there. Not really a base mode, but like they did it for Meg Tyranno. So I was thinking like, why not? Why not with him? So yeah, push that back. Just kidding. Put that right there. There we go. There they are. But yeah, you can capture mini cons on Megatron if you need to. You can capture mini guns on him. Yeah. I did not bring them upstairs, however, I left them downstairs. Because um well there's not many mini cons to like really try and capture, but I do have um Cyclones' mini con with me right here. He'll capture his Cyclones' mini con somehow in some way. Like just place him right there and he gets captured by Megatron anyways. So yeah. It's like going to be gone. But yeah, really nice thing. Really nuts. I'm gonna put leader on off to the side. Also, um, before I forget this transformation gimmick, leader one's transformation gimmick is very simplistic. And yes, they did redeco him for um I definitely do I definitely can tell they redecoed him for drill bit for the Cybertron series for Metroplex. There we go. Let's rotate his arms up slightly, bring his legs down and around a bit. Fold his, fold his guns on up, and voila, there's a little robot mode right there. I'm just going to keep him in robot mode for the time being, but I'm going to put him off to the side at the same time. Now, for some size comparisons, here he is with one of his lieutenants, Cyclonus. See how he does right there. There we go. I also almost forgot this guy. Sideways. There we go. Up next, I'm going to put in. Here we are. Armada Super Base Class. Optimus Prime. I'll have to change the title later on. There we go. There we are. And now for a fairly Complicated third party figure here for a second. I'll well, get this thing. Where are you going? Go here properly. Here we go. He is a bit difficult, but here he is next to <laughs> Naval Commander. We want a little yeah. bit to put them both into the same picture. Here we go. Best as I possibly can, because like Neville Commander is pretty difficult to maneuver. 
sometimes. But yeah, with the trailer and with out the trailer, hit that and that thing fell off right there. Yeah, I want to try to get this is right here. There we go, and here we go. We have a commander with with him. About the same size, just about the same size. There we go. And are you having fun? I think someone's having fun. What do you think? Yeah. Now for the transformation process. Very simplistic. Very simplistic. Just let's bring his legs on down. There we go. Pull up the heel spurs. Rotate the feet on up. Feet on up. There we go. There we are. And there goes the can sound again. Rotate the can to the side though. Bring it, rotate the can forward. Open this right here. Bring this on. Swing his arm on down. There we go. There we go. Bring out his arm. Close that up. There. And bring down the. Bring down his little mask. And also, before I forget, rotate his waist around. And there we go. There is our Armada Megatron in his robot mode. And I must say, they did a really good job with his robot mode. Just so he's like a four changer. He's actually a four changer because of the way Tidal Wave Power Link's under him. But we're going to only check out the, his three modes. This is the second mode right here. Really nice little mode. Nice little mode. And also, if you want to with Leader 1, you just do this with him. Just take down, just bring down one of his arms. Just bring down like his arms right there. There we go. Look at his cannons. There we are. There we go. Because like with his arms, sorry about that. You can just take his arms, bring up his bring up Megatron's arm right there, and just there we go. There we are. And there we are. I've been trying to figure this part on out. For 20 years, I'd say, at least 20 years, never figured this out until, until like a while back. Like months ago, I figured that on out, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So they did like this right here. Apparently, like, like, like they just did not include a trigger with him. They only made it to where you could fit his arm into his fist. So yeah, that's how you can make him into his little weapon, his little weapon of destruction. But yeah. Now with Megatron, you can, from what you all can tell, you can bring up his arm and rotate his arm up and down. But this is in the way a good bit. And also, if you wanted to do so, um, much like in the TV series, go ahead. Wait, wait. There we go. There we are. Just kind of put Leader One back into his little vehicle mode. Rotate his arms back on up a tiny bit right there. Go. It kind of looks like his arms are he definitely his arms are definitely like resembling like a connecting point between his wheels. Now yep. take his mini con mode, uh, power link him right there, and there we go. There we are. And yes, his missiles can fire out, but I'm not going to do that. But this this missile up here is like a pressurized launch because it just goes like like that right there. You see, just like pushing and. There we go. No way to, no, no trick on there. No trick on there at all. But yeah, that's right. But yeah, that's Megatron right there for, for that little cannon right there. Yeah, there you go for a second. Just going to adjust the camera. There we go. And now for some quick science comparisons. Let's forget about this one right here. He's very simple. So just a transform. There we go. Here is Cyclonus. And I want to also put in sideways. And last time he was configured into his vehicle mode correctly. I'm going to try to bring the tripod down a wee bit just to get them all balanced out as much as possible. There we go. And there we are. Yeah. 
And also here he is with Optimus Prime and Naval Commander. Naval Commander is just a tad bit taller than Megatron. He's just a tad bit taller than Megatron is. So yeah. There he is. And now for their fight. Instead of them fighting, they are kind of fist bumping ish because Megatron might be tall, but Optimus is also tall. So, yeah, like, like here we go. I'm going to try to do up their the, the fighting they they were first doing. Like, there we go. Like, oh, and they're moving this off to the side. There we go. That, that doesn't get in the way. There we go. There we are. They are trying to fight. They are trying to fight. I got the best I could do right there. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. Like they're trying to hug. <laughs> kind of. Let's <laughs> hug Prime and end this crawl. No, wait, that's not me. Why don't you just die? And also, I just remembered something. I almost forgot about this. Megatron does have a gimmick in this hand right here. You either use a Minicon or not. And just pull out the little claw. The claw. Really? You want there? The claw. Little blade that he used, like I think, I think he uses a few times in the series. I'm not fully for certain. Put it back, put it back. Con, put it back, back over there. Uh, okay, good. Well, I don't know why this thing is a little bit. It's a little bit loose. Just a little bit loose. Now for the size comparisons of them in super mode. Hang on for a second. Just gonna make a turn right there. Put leader on off to the side and. Place Naval Commander in right here. He is definitely much taller than Megatron. No kidding. Oh yeah. And back him. No. Oops. My daughter separated him. Let's put Optimus Prime right here. Put Naval Commander sitting up. I'm gonna try to adjust the commander real fast. Music in the background not included. Mix. There's Naval Commander and Optimus right next to Megatron. And I have no idea where his other ear pieces are at. I they vanished. I don't know what happened to them. But yeah. There we go. There we have it. And he just came off like that somehow. I have no idea what happened. I, I thought I had him securely on there. I also thought I had Optimus Prime securely on there. Right there. So now for Megatron's like pretty much his super mode. Or as he called it in his in Energon, his hyper mode. Just lift up Megatron. Rotate his waist around. Well, not rotate his waist, but rotate his cannon around right here. Bring his arm, bring him back on down real fast. Take his Minicon. Bring his legs on it right here, like so. Make sure they are strained on out as much as possible. I don't think it fully matters right there. Just going to take him, power leg him right to here. And just, there we go. Up and over. There we go. Up and over. And I think maybe I'm not for sure how the leader one goes right there, but here we are. Here we go. I think with leader one, like you can either have him facing either way on Megatron. There we go. There we are. And so now, with, with his with his super mode right here, you just go like this, and it's not making a sound. Why is that not making sounds? I don't know. There it is. Kind of. So there it goes. But yeah, he, he was supposed to make his. Yeah. I think it's because this is a little loose right here, so yeah, the sound effects won't like the like the power link sound effect is not really working for some odd reason. Hang on for a second, let me take off camera. Yeah, I can't figure out what's going on with him right now. For some odd reason, why the um the com the this mode right here is not working properly. I have no idea why I did everything I'm supposed to do with this, but I'm not for sure. I can't really remember if there is supposed to be like a really super up. 
that or that is the whole thing right there. But there should be, a, but but it should like, but uh, but they should have made it to where like this has like a major like arsenal sound. So yeah, but yeah, that's that's Megatron right there. I think there is a triggering mechanism inside there, maybe. Possibly, I'm not for sure. Okay. Yeah, but look at his arms. Okay, then back around. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait. Hmm. I'm a bit curious. Just be, give you bear with me for a second of one. Yeah, no. That other thing could be busted. That could be a possibility right there. But yeah, that is our modern Megatron right there. So if you guys can, if you are able to do so, you can try and find them 100% complete on eBay. That's the only place you can find them. Unless, of course, if Hasbro does reissue issue of him like they've been doing with the Beast Wars line, then yes! And also, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to both me and Wishmaker, and check out my Tim Pond 1 Gaming channel. Also, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord, and so on. Leave me a comment in the comment section. I'll come in the comment section below. And also, and also everyone, until next one, no, until next one, I'm 10.1, I'll be signing off right now, so peace out.